So sometimes hip pain is treated with a surgery. Depending on the condition, it can be a simple hip washout, it can be a realignment of the hip, it can be an, a bone cut procedure called an osteotomy, or it can be a hip arthroscopy, which is a minimally invasive surgery done to the hip with the use of instruments done through small holes to uh, get access to the hip joint. Hip arthroscopy is what we call a minimal invasive procedure to the hip joint. The surgeon does a small incision in the skin, two or three incisions actually, and then through one of the incisions, he can actually put a camera inside of the hip. And then through the other incision, or the other incisions, he can put instruments, small instruments that can help him repair a cartilage damage, repair the labrum, and even do a reshaping of the femur or the socket in the hip joint. Periacetabular osteotomy, which we also call the PAO, it's a procedure done around the hip joint to realign the hip joint. Peri means around. Acetabular is the hip socket. And osteotomy is bone cut. So it's a series of bone cuts performed around the hip joint to move the hip joint around or the acetabulum around to improve the coverage of the ball on the femur, which is called the femoral head, by the acetabulum, which is the hip socket. Periacetabula osteotomy, or PAO, is an invasive procedure that is associated with some pain immediately after surgery and in the first few days or maybe a week or two after surgery. Here at Boston Children's Hospital, we collaborate with the anesthesia program and we do a very dedicated, specific type of a block, which is a small catheter, which is a very thin tube that goes into the nerves around the spinal canal to help with numbing the area that was um, operated on. So the collaboration with anesthesia helps patients avoiding excessive amount of narcotics and recover better. Also with the type of uh, uh, peripheral block that we do here, we allow patients to be up very soon after surgery and this facilitates their immediate recovery so they can be going home as soon as two days after surgery.